Hello guys, <laughs> how are you doing? I hope you're well. Oh, you are well. This is my desire for you for this end year. And well, let's go today. We're gonna see how to destroy a gold pot, a golden ball, gold ball, gold pot. And I like to make these studies to practice and <clears throat> Don't worry, we're gonna continue our series of the, the character, the black mage character. But today we're gonna study, uh, study a little bit about uh, this tour. I like too much to make these studies. So let me bring the the reference here. Let me load frontal angle. Let me check past the local file here, concept. And we're gonna make this concept here just the gold part and this concept it's from Sofia Dzinska Dzinska I think she's a Russian or yeah I think it's a Russian artist and I like too much so to to see this reference and search in Pinterest usually I save this this reference to make these little studies I, I love it of course i make more character because my more characters usually i skip the more characters and make more game characters because i'm a 3d character artist but sometimes i like to break a little bit and make some props or li uh, a little bit of environments short projects because it's good to keep your mind active and explore new workflows and and have fun too because sometimes stay doing stay making the same thing all the time it's a little boring so it's important sometimes you break a little bit the this this vibe oh awesome too these props really awesome i i like too much of this riot visual too and this law league of legends uh i really love this visual, this gold props, it's it's awesome. So let's go. Hey guys, just to remind you that we have new premium course every month uploaded on Udemy and Skillshare, where you can assess a lot of different content for you learn, improve and grow as an artist. We have all of our course available to watch and learn from right now. New workflows, techniques, tips and tricks, and now it learning from industry veterans and experts. You can check the description down here and Skillshare is offering one free month trial to the premium membership. With this membership, you are going to be able to access all of our course and watch and learn all of these amazing things that we cover with all of the softwares. So what are we waiting for? Check our course down here below. Basically here it's a, a, a very, very short study. So this prop here, I like to start with a cube and then I like to apply, a, apply this move because I have all the fully mesh with quads. Oops, let me check if it's recording, yeah. So I like to work with, with this workflow because let me show you, I can just hold um, Ctrl Shift. Let me check, yeah, or Shift only. Um, I don't remember the hot key here to my, so I'm gonna to mesh and add smooth options. Let me set one subdivision only. Uh, I think two subdivisions. Let me test or three. I think I can <clears throat> work with three, three subdivision to create the base. So how you can see, I have all the mesh with quads only, quad polygons. When I use a sphere, <clears throat> I have this part here and I don't know. I don't like because if I need to smooth it or make some change, different things, Probably I have I gonna I gonna find these triangles and sometimes maybe I, I can have some problems. So I prefer work with spherical shapes from a cube. This is my workflow, of course. 
But well, let us, let's go, let's continue. So what I'm gonna, gonna do here is just try to find the, the overall shape. So I don't know if this, this guy is symmetrical. So <clears throat> let him see more or less this, this shape. That's good, I think here can be. And I can delete this part top part here and I can organize and align this line and now I need to to scale this part here so I'm gonna make more or less on this proportion it's not necessary to be perfectly remember that it's just uh, to use as a reference and here I gonna remove this one hold ctrl delete this part here I'm gonna scale a little bit and try to bring this this shape let me check mm, here I can add other insert edge loop here to insert edge loop let me select the option and use the equal distance can be so now I have this well multiply and set one and I, I have I'm gonna have this equal distance so that's okay let me go to mesh place up the edge why i have this landmark here let me see soften edge yeah i have this landmark so let me remove this loop let me check yeah it's better so what I need here, it's these little parts, so I can do that, or I can, yeah, maybe I can extrude it, I think I can do it from this mesh, I'm gonna move on to ZBrush to, to add that, these landmarks here, but, well, let me add here, insert edge loop, I'm gonna switch to relative, it can be, yeah, more or less this distance. Let me select all these polygons and extrude it. Extrude face. Mm, let me see from this distance. Can be uh, offset divisions. Let me set two. No, I want a division here. Maybe I could use the bevel. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna work with that and I'm gonna add an insert edge loop again Multiply to have this equal distance and here I'm gonna scale a little bit to get this curve at shape But here I think that it's more curved and not this flat This 90 degree I think that it's more curved so I can scale this guys here. Yeah, and move up a little bit. Yeah, then I can scale a little bit more. So I have this this shape. Awesome. Maybe the thickness could be a little more more intense. Let me scale a little bit. Yeah, on this way. I don't know this proportion here, maybe it's too big. Let me change. So here we need to apply this, this artistic feeling too. So I don't know, seems that uh, the shape maybe, I think this distance, the tau it's different. Something like that more or less. Yeah, maybe. Maybe on this way. Yeah, let me extrude it. Control A. And let me check. I'm not happy with this distance yet. So I'm press Control Z and I'm gonna try to fix it to find a, a good shape. Maybe on this way, I'm gonna change a little bit the, from the concept. 
So I think that this this feeling is better. Go match display reverse. Let me check. Let me apply a new material. Can be boolean, and I can set a. Let me delete the history boolean, and I can set a orange color. Let me pick and try to pick a random color here. More to orange, and in increase the electricity. Specular, increase the specular too. We can change the specular color too. And this aspect a little more this way. Let me see here, something like that, just to check the initial. Uh, this part it's more flat. Let me move down a little bit this part here. Mm, I don't know. Oh, uh, let me check. Uh, uh, <laughs> I am thinking while I am doing the things. So because of that I I stay. Uh, uh. And these parts here. Let me see. This region. Mm, let me scale this part here. Yeah, this way more or less. Let me check. Yeah, it can be. And I need to fix this part here. Let me delete this one. And delete this part here too. I think that we have this other part. Let me delete. And now I'm gonna bridge this lapse bridge. So it's better. Can change a little bit the change the proportion here on this side maybe. So that's okay. Mm, let me see. Let me try to find a, a different shape. I'm not happy with this part yet. So maybe on this way will be better. I think that here a bevel maybe. Something like 0.2. Let me check. Yes, I think that it's better, this little bevel. Let me reproduce the same thing here, point two. To break a little bit this shape and go to mesh, display, soften, edge. I think that's okay. And now I can break this visual on ZBrush, into the ZBrush. Let me see. Let me select this part, these polygons and go to Mesh Play and Soften Edge. And here in Channel Box, Soften Edge 2, I'm gonna set 35, I think. Yes, 35. Yeah, I wanna this, this feeling. And I'm gonna make the same thing to this part here. Let me see, yeah. Mesh play, soften edge, 35. Let me check here. Yes, I have more market. Well, let me check this part. 30. 30 can be, I think. Yeah. Well, this polygon here. Let me check. 35. Yeah, can be. Let me check this other. Yeah, 35. So that's okay. Uh, now I can move on to. I can move on to ZBrush. I think here I can add other loop. Maybe insert edge loop. Maybe here. Insert edge loop. Let me switch to relative. 
and have this inner part a little better. So I press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. I'm gonna repeat and set more or less here. I think it's better. Yeah. So that's cool. So now what we need to do is make these the details break a little bit the details and the texture. I think now that this part here it's too intense. So let me check this part here. It's still inflated. So let me scale it a little bit. More or less on this way. Yes, now I think it's better. So the modeling it's very good. So let's go, let's do ZBrush. Let me go to edit, delete by history. That's cool. And let me open the brush here and use the GoZ. I love GoZ. Create. I will not relink. I'm gonna create a new. Press T and go to document. Let me first click on initialize ZBrush. If you wanna my customize customize that UI, just ask me and I can send you it. Let me go to GoZ again. Use the GoZ. Awesome. Press Ctrl and T. It's kind of gold. These medic apps I have made the download from internet, from Google, from ZBrush. So it's a free medic apps, but I'm gonna use a normal medic app. Let me see here. I have this gold and all these stuffs, but I will not use that. I'm gonna use can be. Let me see the skin shader can be just to make this sculpture or let me see can be metal steel I think can be steel and let me pick a random color here but I think that for now let me change the light I'm gonna use the skin shading just to model it because it's better to see and also I can use the render properties if I want use the render properties the wax preview to change a little bit the aspect but I know we're gonna work only with that more or less this color more this way here yeah Let me check more or less in this way yes can be and let's go, let's start the sculpture here. So, here into ZBrush, let me press Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, just to check the elements. That's okay, let me press Ctrl Z. And what I'm gonna do is mark some parts. So, I wanna export more mark at. And yeah, basically, Z. I could also use the Dynamesh. I don't know, we're gonna test with the geometry and press letter P. And also we're gonna use the Arbor Crack uh, pack. It's from Michael Vicent. He did this brush, the, he provided this brush. Did a, it was a, a long time, I think 2016. So yes, did almost seven years ago. So, whoa, my God, the time has fly it uh well and let's go what i gonna do first guy i i like to i like to use the polygroups and to to make some automatically polygroups i like to use these groups by normals let me test yes has worked as well groups by normals 45 the angle so it's awesome, but this part here I need to mark too because I want to mark it. So let me isolate and turn off perspective. It's better to work and I'm gonna remove this part. And here I can hold Ctrl Shift and select the, the lasso. So this workflow, let me, let me press X. 
it's the two activity symmetry. This is a workflow between, for example, ZBrush and Maya or Blender and Maya. It's very normal and we always are using it. So I press Ctrl W, that's okay. So it's extremely important to you introduce this new workflow, for example, if you are not using it. Oh, for example, oh, Daniel, I like just to use Blender or only ZBrush or only Maya. It's not uh, a smart strategy. You need to improve your, your workflow and work with a lot of, a lot of tools. Chris PD, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, six times. That it's enough. And here, let's go to our cracks and let's make this damage, these details. Let me test this one. No, let me increase the intensity. I don't know, I want something more up now. The alpha, I can change the alpha here. Try to work with more up net alpha. Yeah. Let me see here. Mm. Yes, I think that I need to open, open this alpha. Make different, but well, here for it, it's enough. Or less on this way, it's damage. Here we can use the, let me see the light box, brush, flatten the, where are you? Polish, I think it's polish or clay, train dynamic, it's the train. Where are you? Train here. Then let me test, train dynamic, let me see, smooth border, let me use this one to test. No, yeah, it can be, this little damage. Let me test. Yes, and remember, it's not necessary to be perfectly and like the the concept. It's more to get this different shape. Let me test it. Of course, you can test other. For example, let me go to Lightbox and use this Trin Dynamic Letter B or just Trin Dynamic C or string hole, let me think, I think it's this one, yeah, this string hole is better, so let me test here, can be, that's good, let me try to organize it, let me see here, this damage I think that I can make on this way or l let me just press ctrl z and try to use the clay polish yeah clay polish we works and then I can smooth um, or use the high polish here inner high polish yeah to fix it I'm just testing because then I'm gonna fix it yeah, it's enough, so let me press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. Yeah, then I'm gonna apply the high polish. So here I can use the trim dynamic hole. It's good to create some landmarks. You can test others, have soft trio. This trim dynamic, it's awesome to create wood effect. So let me see mark a little bit more here and here too now we can break a little bit some this this spherical shape can break a lot let me use the false shading can be or metal still metal can be yeah it's better and turn off the symmetry so let me go to layer I'm gonna create a new layer to control the intensity let's see 
turn off the dynamic and can create this effect let me change the light more in front to see the this smash visual and work calmly here the secret is it work calmly variations this little change and details not too much it's not necessary to, to make uh too intense it's more to break a little bit this this, this perfectly sphere sphere this perfect perfect shape so we can just make more random here i think we could use noise too to break this this part but yeah it's enough this one here it's just a study remember that let me see in front i can smash make some damage to this part here too and let me see here too and back part this region here too let me create this part let me check yeah i want to create a lot of variation i can use the normal map too it's awesome to see it and i can let me check if it's enough to this part here in dynamic yeah i think it's enough here and let me check yeah so now i want something that i can break a little bit the flat part so let me see this back part yeah a lot of damage let me use string dynamic soft no i want to break this part a little bit maybe i can work with high polish too let me increase the quick save i don't want quick save string normal yeah i have this string normal <coughs> yeah let him test silver yeah I have some damage but it's not enough let me create this variation with them with high polish here and break this flat shape here yeah so we can these little details make the difference can make on this way here to create this variation so uh, these little things make a lot of difference to the model because when we're gonna apply the roofness to gold aspect it's very awesome because clean golds are very cool but when you have this 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 little details variation is very awesome too because give an other visual to the project. Let me see here. Yeah, and I can use the orb crack too again. Let me check here orb extreme polish to have this polish. Let me explore others orb flatten edge this one awesome better yet but take care to not make a, a lot of changes here because it's more kind of this part's more in the middle but well it's very strong stroke so take care with that to not affect a lot the model let me make it inner too but i like the trim trim hole oops too much the intensity let me reduce a little bit and create this 
specked here in there too. So that's okay. This part here too. Let me see this damage. This noise. That's okay, I think it's enough. And these little things make difference, how you can see. It's enough. Let me active again and use the orb crack. I wanna create some landmarks. Let me use this other orb splash. I can add here. Let me make this variation take care just it's not necessarily a lot of these landmarks so let me see the other it can be this one maybe here just these little landmarks That's enough. Yeah. I'm gonna try to bring it here. Yeah, it's enough. For me, it's enough. So, what I can do now, just to see difference. Yeah. Let me save. Here, zero, two. And the cool part how we had how we have used that by subdivision just let me delete the layer bake all not delete it's just bake so we can use this part as a low poly let me return to can be basic skin shade and i can duplicate that and this other I can increase solo and let me fix this part let me press ctrl D oops let me press ctrl Z and I'm gonna use the clay polish first yeah but I have removed a lot of details I think it's not necessarily the clay polish so let me just try to polish this part Let me see here. Ctrl D. I'm gonna try to increase it. We're using the high polish brush. The hard key to high polish that I have assigned at it's the number seven. One to standard brush, two to move, three to clay, four to clay build up, five to arbor crack. And six to move topological, seven to high polish, eight to inflate brush, nine to layer brush, zero to dumb standard brush. So let me see here. Let me smooth a little bit the border. That's okay. Can use dumb standard negative <clears throat> to mark a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, it's enough. That's enough. So this is the high poly. And here it's the low. But I need uh, work. Let me remove the the higher crease and crease all. And I think that I need to make this landmark here. Yeah. I think that I need to make the landmark here to this port so I just can reuse it I think try to use a, a bevel here and I can use this this mesh as a let me send to Maya as a low poly so let me hidden this one create a new layer here goes in and yeah 
goes e and this guy here it's my hike so let me see geometry the layer the plugin uh where you are where are you decimation here preprocess current and i gonna apply the decimation send it to maya uh organize to fit the low poly mesh open the uv and make the bake into the substance painter and start the start the texture so this is my workflow it's not how i say you it's not a a unique workflow or the perfect workflow. We have a lot of different workflows, but well, it's a good point to, it's a, yeah, it's a good point. It's a good, how I can, how can I say that? It's a, it's a good stage. It's, it's a good thing to make because you can make it very fast and make a, a lot of short studies. So, oh, oh I wanna study, gold materials uh, i want to st study gold modeling or wood metal plastic what more let me see i i like stone i like to make these short studies it's very awesome to practice so let me see it's called protein operation complete let's go to 1.2 to decimation decimation current Yes, awesome, and I can send it to Maya too. Let me wait, cool. I can use it as a live and go to modeling quad row. So this part here, I just need to organize this part. So what I gonna do here, it's delete this one, hold control shift. And I'm gonna create this assignment here. Let me see this part and this other two triangles here. That's cool. So let me try to connect these guys here. Let me see here. Oops, where you are, my friend? Let me move up a little bit. This point, this vertex. Yeah, thank you, and let me merge it. What? Let me try to merge it with this other. Yeah, that's good. So this guy here um let me check yeah i can create order here just to this part and i can connect these guys here it's better cool awesome this part i can merge here let me check yeah can merge close here same thing with this one this other side so usually uh, when we have to make these props sometimes we make the low poly only or sometimes we don't do these landmarks we try to make it on a flat flat shape because it's better to make the root topology and we can reuse the low poly so that's okay here a triangle triangle and flat on flat parts it's very good so the same thing here and here that's okay it's enough just let me try to align in this part mm, let me test maybe it will work so what I, I like to do of course we could optimize let me remove this part we could optimize it a lot, a lot. We could optimize this part here. We could merge <coughs> our width, but I'm gonna keep on this way. It's just to make a study. So what I'm gonna do here now, it's open UV automatically 
to test, so let me go to automatically UV. That's okay, that's enough. Oh, Daniel, why you are, are why uh, are you doing it? Because it's to test, so when I am testing, let me add another layer, or studying, I just want to study, for example, my main objective now, it's not study UV or retopology, it's just get the result of, it's just try to get the gold, the gold shader. So I know that how I, I need to de to make the the retopology. I know how is the correct way to make the a good UV, the correct retopology, the correct UV. But my focus right now is it make the tissue. So how I am doing it very fast. Uh, for me, no matter the 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 UVs, if it's okay or not. For me, I wanna just to check if it will works. So let me go to mesh, soften edge, that's cool. Let me go to edit, delete history. First, I'm gonna modify uh, first transformation, edit, delete history. That's okay, and I can export it, export selection. Uh, let me open here the file location and past the file location. Gonna set the name low. Let me see a uh, pot low. Ball low. Well, gold underline pot underline low. That's okay. And here, let me press Ctrl Z. I wanna the high poly. Let me export it as FBX. Uh, decimation FBX export pin as normal selected only that's okay so I can export it let me set the same name hi hi and here we need to wait a little bit it's depend if you have a lot of millions polygons uh, probably it will take uh, more time so it's normal Please don't make nothing, just wait <laughs> when, when the brush uh, is exporting, ex is exporting, don't move your hands. For example, don't move the mouse, don't click enough on nothing, just wait because uh, the probability to crash, to it crash, it's very, very high. So just wait. So writing data, we need to wait. So file exported, let me open the Substance Painter. And well guys, here into, into the Substance Painter, let me close this window, let me drag my, change my reference position, move to the other screen. And here I'm gonna click on new, and I'm gonna use this PBR workflow, metallic roughness. Let me just fix a little bit more my mic. Yeah, I think it's a little better position. Yes. And document resolution, I'm gonna set to K, direct X. It's okay, and let me select my file here the low, go pot low, and press on OK. Let me see here, yeah, here we have this, the base mesh. Let me change the settings of Substance Painter. Let me active this option, activate temporal anti-aliasing. It's good because we can have a better visualization here, the, the canvas, the window. The other option that I like to change is the shared parameters. The quality I, I like to set to me to high. Usually I use too high. Of course, it depends on your computer settings too. So let me see here. And and is it? So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is bake 
the mesh map. So let me go to bake. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the bake visualization first because I prefer load the, the high poly. Then I like to active the bake visualization. For me, seems that it works more, seems that Substance Paint works fast, more fast, but I don't know. It's just my, my idea, I think. So let me set the output size to K2 and add the high poly. Let me see here the cage. Now let me active the big visualization. I, we're gonna have this, this loading process. That's okay. I'm gonna use 0 0.015. Let me check here it's enough or let me set 13. Or 11, maybe. Yeah. 11, that's okay. So, if we have some red color, this means that we have a bad bake. So, let me set zero here just to show you. So, for example, how you can see, this is not good. Let me set 0 0.011. Yes, that's cool. Uh, other thing, anti-aliasing, let me set super sample, super sample 16, mm, I think it's, is it, normal map, ambient occlusion, settings, uh, that's all okay, it's duration, ignore back face, self-occlusion, uh, I think that's all good, curvature, generate from mesh, I can uh, generate the curvature from normal map then, but how we have the, the high poly here, I think it's, it's okay from generate from mesh position thickness. Yeah. High map is not necessary, but normal is not opacity too. ID map. It's not necessary too. For space normal. I think it's all, it's all okay. And is it, let me bake, select textures, how we have only one texture here, one material, that's okay. So we can click on bake select textures. Uh, but if, if we have, if we had uh, other textures, for example, other materials, other mesh, we're gonna probably select the, the specific texture or we can, we could use the bake select textures too. So let me click on it and wait the, the process here, normal map. Let me check. Of course, rem remember guys that here we have used that an automatically unwrap. This is not the, the final and the perfectly, for example, unwrap, but it's okay. I usually, usually I use it to make these studies, for example, good goat studies, wood or metal, uh, plastic, uh, cloth to the, the Further, I think that is for for too. Yeah, can be. And all these studies, I like to to focus on the texture, the workflow, uh, how to bring this gold effect here into the substance painter. Of course, if I am doing something for final version or for game for production, something like that, we need make the correctly UV map the correctly. Um, the correctly red topology and all these things but here how we are just studying these things this gold texture it's okay it's enough and we we can move on with this um, uv mapping and red topology okay so remember when substance painter will bake the ambient occlusion this process to ambient occlusion takes more time it's normal very normal so let me pause here and i'm gonna unpause when we have finished the the um, these bakes so here we have this the bake finished so let me return to pine mode we have these maps and awesome, we have this quality here, how you can see, we have the, the details, the scratch, the cuts, 
the smashes here. I, I think it's the smash, it's the, the polish landmarks here. Polish the from the, the polish brush. Let me remove here uh, the the <laughs> oh, the normal map and you can see the the clean mesh. So when we have the normal map, we have this aspect. Awesome. These little detail details make the difference. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. So let's start. The first thing that I like to do is create um, a new. It's depend, of course, of the the object. The the how I how can I say? Let me see. The it's depend of the. Um, the visual, for example, I, I, I want to represent uh, gold or uh, wood. So basically my workflow changed uh, depending of the, the project. So I like to start saying to the shady, for example, if it, it will be metalness or not. I like to turn off the color for this guy color and keep only the roughness and metals and here i gonna say i wanna something more like a stone or something more like plastic metallic or non-metallic for this guy i gonna use 0 0.9 and maybe the roughness we can set more or less on this way let me Pick my reference here, and here we have a, an aspect similar with stone, but I gonna try to convert it a little bit because I'm working with PBR. So usually the gold, when we are using PBR, it's uh, it's a little more realistic, a little bit more realistic, and this stone effect is uh, it's uh, kind of League of Legend visual. Usually to get this visual, same visual, visual uh, we need to use 3D code, for example. But here we're gonna adapt to Substance Painter. So let me use a little bit more. I don't want a lot of reflect, a lot of reflect, too reflective. So let me set. I like to work with exactly numbers too. So let me can be 78. Yeah, maybe. Of course, then we can change it. So that's okay. Let me set here also my environment map. I'm gonna use this. I think it's this one. Let me see here. Soft Studio. Let me check here. Two rings. Let me see here. Hmm. Let me test other one front. Let me see here one low, one front, two back. That means that we have one light um, in front and two uh, back. So let me select this one. Yeah, that's okay for me. So let me set it like roughness and metalness. I like to work with these channels separated. Let me create other layer and this layer here will be the base color. Base gold, base gold color. So that's okay. Uh, let me keep only the color here. I don't want the roughness for this base color. So basically it's kinda, I have separated the roughness, metalness and base color basically have the roughness metalness usually a lot of people use it in the same layer i like to make it separated because for me it's better to make change so let me pick the color can be a uh, gold let me check can be more or less this this tone you can check here these settings if you want follow the same same result uh let me set here gold gold pure let me add just to us comparate it then let me see here turn off this option and set 
type gold because I have a lot of gold armor gold damage too so that's okay let me turn off it because then we're gonna compare it the difference when we are creating something stylized and where we have something from substance or just added so let's go let's no let me delete it it guys then we're gonna cooperate it because it's better to you understand it let me create other layer and let me copy here ctrl d ctrl d i'm gonna use uh, color base color var one we're gonna have a var color variation let me set a red here or let me try to pick from my image can be something more dark here we have the settings and something blue. We could use green. I like to mix the gold uh, with uh, red colors and blue colors. I like to use that. So let me add here base color for two. No, one. Base color. Color for two. Let me turn off. And for these guys here, I'm gonna active the roughness and I'm gonna set something more like 76 can be. Let me see, no too much. Let me keep 40, 0 0.38 can be, yeah, can be this gold effect. It's, it's kind of bronze, it's like a bronze too. That's okay, so here is the secret. We can add a generator. Oops, first black mask, of course. And now, uh, un add, un add, add a generator. And we call it work with cloud here, come on. Yeah, cloud. Let me see here. Not sorry, guys. To uh, to color variation, we're gonna use a few. Come on, it's a few. And here, grayscale on grayscale, we can type cloud. I like too much of this visual, this technique to create variation. So I can use this cloud, and I can hold out and click on this base color. Here, how you can see, we have all these these cuts. It's because of our UV, it's open ad, uh too strange. So, because we have used it automatically, but here we can select this guy clothes and change the projection to three planar projection. That's cool. And the tiling, we can reduce a little bit. I don't want a lot of this, this part can keep something like that. We have the option random. Let me see, let me bring this part. And usually this map, this clouds, it will be the roughness too. So remember where we have more dark uh, color, probably we're gonna have more reflection here into the substance, the, the, the roughness it's opposite. So black colors will reflect more and white it's more to stone and black more to metal, the roughness. So that's enough, let me press M, letter M. So let me see here, that's cool. And let me work on this guy here. Yeah, I think that's enough. Let me check here, this map. I, I think I can reduce a little bit, maybe. Let me check, so this process take a little more time it's not exactly for example don't worry about it to be exactly or I can keep one let me check uh, 0.7 thing can be let me turn off the roughness yeah I'm gonna keep the roughness let me check I can rotate the light here and I want to create this variation so let me reduce a little bit bit more this this clouds here uh, can be 31 yeah can be and the secret here too it's added this generator the filter sorry 
blur slope. This guy here, how you're going to have this break and bring more this this aspect more stylized. So let me check here how you can see this this flash over here. Very cool. So that's okay. I can make. Uh, I just can delete this base color variation, and I'm gonna press Ctrl D to create the other to duplicate that, and I'm gonna set um, this blue color here more or less. This blue color here. Oops. This blue color. Come on. This visual here. So that's cool. So what I'm gonna do now? It's changed the uh, roughness a little bit. Here I can increase a little to create this variation. Can be 40, 45, can we? And now I'm gonna change also the the clothes here. I don't want the same that the other. So I can create, click on, let me check clothes. I can click on random. Yeah. I have the, all these options, more blue, let me see, yeah, it's kind of color variation, let me see the other side, that's cool, a little strong, but no problem, I'm keeping out strong, then I'm gonna change it, so don't worry about that, let me create, click on a little bit more clothes, can change the scale here too. Let me check. No, gonna keep this one and random. Let me click hold out and click here. Yeah, can be, thing can be. So let me press letter M. That's okay. Let me reduce it. We can reduce a little bit. The intensity. Mm, that's okay. Let me increase a little bit more. Can be 16. So, all this process, it's a little, seems a little boring, but it's normal. So, we have this the little guy here and here. This blue tone, I, I don't know. Let me check the clothes. 31 and here 31 too but let me click random yeah i think now it's better yeah can be let me see here yeah that's okay that's enough of course we call that paint something like that if you want to remove but that's okay now what i gonna do let me set the color variation too what are you gonna do? It's add the other fill layer and I'm gonna work on the edge reflections. So let me add here edge, highlight, and let me add a black mask. And I can add a fill. And for this one, we're gonna work with the thickness or thickness map. map. So let me see here. And basically, I want a reflection here. So let me see here this part. To increase it a little bit, we can add uh, levels. And here we can increase this, this part. This landmark. Let me see here. But I think that it will be to, to smooth it, so let me try to work with other. I'm gonna add a generator, mask editor, maybe. So, mask editor can be. Come on. Yeah, it's better. So, let me turn off the levels. And the mask editor, let me, white color will be the reflection, so that's okay. Let me increase the balance, the contrast, 
That's okay. The thickness. Thanks a little bit. Oh no, let me active the levels. And now we can work a little bit here. More intense. Yeah. Can duplicate the levels if I want, for example. And try to work on this way. But here it's too wide. We're gonna have a lot of reflection here. But that's okay. So now what, what I can do is add a paint and try to remove that. So let me see here. Press X and I can remove. So let me select this guy. And I'm gonna try to remove a little bit. Let me use a blur soft brush. And I can activate this option, stroke opacity, and break a little bit it. I am doing on this way to to create this uh, zigzag variation. I could remove it more clean, maybe. But I'm playing a little bit with that. So this part I don't want to reflect it. Want something more? Not too, not a lot of roughness here. Not a lot of reflection. Something more, maybe more dry. But I'm a thing because it's gold. So gold, we need to ha get a reflection here. So let me remove this level, and I'm gonna work on the mask editor. So let me see here, global balance, increase a little bit, uh, contrast, let me check the thickness, can invert it, no, oh you can still have this landmark of the UV, but no, prob no problem, let me use the blur a little bit, and out this part we're gonna have this black part but it's enough let me check here global contrast increase a little bit and blur reduce a little bit this map here yeah and i'm gonna remove a little bit this part let me add a paint here move bottom the the levels and I can remove this part here can be mixed it's not necessary to be perfectly here I, I wanted this variation here same thing here and this part here too So let me check, yeah, I think it's enough. That's good. Let me active the color and the roughness. So I have this aspect. Let me pick the color here. Uh, can be uh, the same that the base. So basically it's the same color. So that's okay. Let me check here this option of the roughness reflection. So let me see, let me add, increase a little bit. Can be 0 0.4. I don't know how these reflections are too strong, but no problem, don't worry. I'm gonna increase it. What I'm gonna do here also, it's great other color variation to the roughness so let me activate the roughness color color for can be three let me add a black mask and i wanna let me select your color 
and I want something more brown. And here, what I'm gonna try to find is this part here. It's kind of this dirty, but what we're gonna do is the same thing that the 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 mask editor. We're gonna work with the mask editor. So let me go to add editor mask editor too. We we'll have this dirt also, but I prefer the uh, mask editor for this this element. So let me hold out. And here, basically, what I'm gonna do is try to make the reverse here. Why? We have this part here without reflection. So what I'm gonna do is just click on true. And here, global balance, I'm gonna increase it. More or less here, more or less can be. Let me check. So let me see here the curvature. I can increase the curvature too. And be more or less this level. Yeah, so basically how you can see we're gonna have more opaque on these parts here too. So I think it's too much. Let me reduce a little bit. Or let him increase here and here too, of course. But let me see here. Yeah, can be on this part. Let me see the blur a little bit and reduce this way. Let me check too. Mm, yeah, can be. What I'm gonna do is add um, filler, blur slope here too. I like to, to get this variation. And I think it's too strong this mask edge to let me reduce a little bit. Let me see here. Yeah, global balance. Let me check, it's too strong on this part here. Try to increase. No, I think that's okay. Let me press letter M. So I have this <laughs> very, it's kind of dirty. I can reduce a little bit this guy. Be more or less here. I don't know, I want something more on this, this part, but that's okay. Mm, I'm not happy with this process, so let me check here. Uh, thickness, can reduce position. Not a happy with that. Let me see here, this steer opacity, global contrast. I want to change this direction. So let me see here. Let me reduce it. Mm, I don't know. Mm, yeah. I think it's enough, not perfectly, but it's enough. And let me turn off here the, the roofness. I'm gonna make this guy separated. So let me press Ctrl D. And now I'm gonna active only the roofness here and set it to 0.4 can be. Yeah. So we have this, this uh, variation here. So let me increase the intensity here. Let me see the roughness here. Roughness map. Where are you? Roughness, yeah. So that's okay. I, I don't know. I would like to to get more this part here, but that's okay. So continuing. Let me try to make different here. Let me select this mask editor. Turn off the true and change the false. Mm, 
maybe here. Let me come here. Blur sharp. Mask editor. Invert. Let me check here. Uh, the add. That's okay. So let me return to this guy. True. And let me change a little bit. These shapes here. Let me try to make a uh, different here. Yeah, but no make sense. Increase a little bit, a little bit more. No, I'm gonna press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, and I'm gonna keep with that. So that's okay. Let me press M and let's continue. So how you can see, we have this variation here. It's also this blur slope bring this this visual. It's so cool. So let me let's continue. Let me set here this color var let me set roughness from but from color var 3 yeah i like to work with separated channels it's very very good so let me add a yo ambient occlusion cause it will be better to work let me add the color i can add a black mask Mm, let me pick more or less, um, uh, I don't know, I think we could use this color here or more to red. This part here, yeah, can be. And let me add a few, can be a bit matte mask. Uh, AO. Maybe anti inclusion, let me check here, yeah, the fill. Let me select this guy, add the levels because I wanna very very intense this part so let me work with levels let me check the field that's okay so it's the level the the levels here so nothing like nothing like that i think can be oh too dark there but no problem so let me see here yeah can be let me press m let me return here. Yeah, it can be M and switch to multiply. Okay. Let me see here. Let me check how we don't have roughness here. I just can invert it. So I can click to the levels, invert. And here we have this aspect. To, to red, let me set more dark here. Yeah, it can be this tone more or less. Other thing that I'm gonna add here, it's work with the filter, the blob, blur slope, not the blob. Let me see here, select this option and reduce the intensity, zero. Can be let me see 0 0.03 or 4 0 0.004 mm, yeah it can be press letter M I think it's too much yet can reduce a little bit more I have this random option to and I can reduce to 0 0.02. Yeah, I think it's it's enough. So that's cool. It's going well. But I, I don't know, I think it's too marked yet. This blur is up. I'm gonna add four and set or one zero, one more zero, yeah. Now it's better. We have the effect, but very, very smooth. Fat. So now it's better for me, my opinion, of course. So let me see. Yeah, that's good. So let me create um, 
bake light. Let me set light here. And we can work on this. It's kind of gradients. We can use light. We have the gradients. So basically I'm going to add uh, more red, red light. It's more color. And we're going to have a little of red here and red here. So let me set this image here. And for this guy, we can work uh, with color only because we want to just add the color variation. So the secret to, to gold, it's work with a lot of color variation, but into the gold uh, aspect that it's red, green, blue. So when we when you add only a unique color, like a flat color seems a little fake. So the secret to style is that it make it work uh, a lot with this color variation. So let me see. We can use this color here more or less. It's kind of um, uh, red, rose. That's okay. And here I can add a black mask. And I can add here a generator light. Let me see this light here. That's okay. Let me set here. Let me see. It can be 90 degree. 90 degree. Oops. Two. Can be. And this light can be divide let me see here so we have this option but let me try to remove it delete the mask remove mask that's okay let me add here just a light generator let me see here just the Color. I'm looking to the other screen because I, I have recreated it a lot of times. It's awesome. And let me keep only the color here. And to get this this color here, we, we need to switch to divide. So now we have this aspect and I can add the levels. So let me see here. Change a little bit to seven, more or less here. More or less this this tone can be. So let me see here. Change a little bit. Light attenuation. Play a little bit with that. It's more to get to this variation. I can invert it if I want to. Let me see here. And we can play a little bit with that. Let me see more or less on this way. Uh, of course, I can again switch the sports. I can use the multiply here. And let me see here. Yes, I think that I wanted this effect. Nine it, nine it. Yeah, let me. Keep false here. And the multiply, we have this effect here. It's very cool. So now what do we need to do? It's change the intensity. Can be 30 more or less. It's a little let me set here. It's a little little tweak that make the difference. For example, this color here red color so how you can see this little 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 effect so we can duplicate that but let me see how why i have this a lot of these elements the level let me try to invert it let me see here. No, I'm gonna keep with this this color here. So what I'm gonna do is set this guy here to one and make this guy here to 22. So let me show you normal. 
the intensity. So what I have done was remove this, this purple effect. So I have set that one here, click on two times and seven, two can be. So I have added this more, this more cold. So basically I have more strong here and strong here of the light. So basically I'm gonna have a, a color variation here and here. So let me see, let me invert. Yeah, is that. So let me check here the light, it's okay. Nine degree, I have this direction, this direction. So basically horizontal angle, this a the vertical, so creating this effect. So let me see here. Of course I can change the, the, the light, the color. Let me switch to multiply. That's okay. So how you can see I have this, this, this warm effect. That's cool. So let me press Ctrl D. And I'm gonna try to reproduce a little bit of this fake blue color. Usually to make this effect, we use a ring light for into the, the Unreal or Marm set to back. But I'm gonna add a light here just to get this result. So it can be this blue color here. And let me remove the level. It's not necessary. And here I'm gonna switch to overlay. I want a more effect. Or let me set a normal just to you see it. And here the light, it's uh, we're gonna keep the same thing, but what I'm gonna do it set zero here, and I can try to bring this effect to this angle. So let me set here can be 14 or less. So of course this is not for example, the, the final version, we can make changes here. I'm just adding this light because I want to reproduce the, the concept. But for example, if we're going to set it into the Unreal or uh, Unity or Marvel set to back, probably you're going to delete this layer and add a real light to that. Okay, so just, just to, to say that here we are playing a little bit, having fun a little bit. So that's okay. And just I'm gonna switch to overlay can be and let me reduce a little bit. The intensity can be 70%. Oops, not 170. So that's cool. I like because this, this effect how you can still have this variation and make a lot of difference. These little things make a lot of difference. It's awesome. So let me see here. Yeah, let me return here and set the environment rotation to zero. Now it can be here. Yeah. Let me check. Yeah, can be here. I am feeling that roughness. Let me check. No, it's right. It's right. The roughness that that's okay. So let me set light, rename it to oops, light to. So uh, I'm doing it more slowly because this is the correct way. When you see the exact numbers, for example, and the, the, the layers, exact layers, it's not the real life. When we are creating some texture or making a prop, usually we need to make a lot of different tests. Okay, so don't think that I'm just uh, I have all this structure in my mind. Oh, this, oh I'm gonna use a light, I'm gonna use this layer, I'm gonna use this color variation. No, basically uh, to make props, I like to experiment a lot of different workflows, different colors, but here how it is a tutorial. So I try to bring more exactly layers.
And to finish this color variation with light, I like to add more one. So we can use light to color variation. Let him set here 90. Uh, let him set it as a normal 100. And here let me use, um, can be a yellow color. And here I'm gonna switch the light divide to soft let me see here um let me see where are you subtract screen maybe no sign at no where are you soft light here soft light and i can reduce uh, a lot of this this part here so it's too intense yet, let me increase it, reduce the highlight glossiness, and here too, let me set other color here, more dark, let me select some more dark color, it's better, so how you can to have this, this aspect a little better let me set here 30 mm, yeah yes this variation it's good i don't know i think that this part here is too too intense i'm not a happy with that so let me see here Let me see what, Bec why I'm, I am not happy with that. So let me set a little more dark, maybe, yeah. And let me reduce it. Yeah, it can be something like that. That's okay. So I think we have more or less this visual. It's not perfect, but it's going well. I think maybe I, I need to reduce that. Yeah, it can be more or less here. And I, here I can increase a little bit. So yeah, we have this, this visual. In my opinion, it's better. And seems that my roofness map is not cool. So let me try to check if it is one. No, let me see here. Yeah, I think that it's this one. Let me try to turn off. Go to roofness, give this one. Yeah, it's this one. So basically, probably because I have the mask editor, I need to invert it. I don't want this effect here. I want to pose it, so I need to invert. Now it's better, so how you can see. I have the correct reflection on the other parts, for example. So let me see here. Yeah, it's better. And also, these landmarks are too, too short. Let me see the mask editor, global balance. Let me turn off this guy. Maybe increase a little bit, reduce the blur. Yeah, balance, maybe something like that. Blur's loop, let me reduce it to something like that. I think it's better. So we have a better reflection here. We have this, these landmarks. Let me see here the edge highlight too. Yeah think that I need more contrast let me let me check the roughness here I can reduce a little bit more oh also I can change the levels maybe let me set one here yeah because I want a more more strong and let me make more intense this part and seems that 
out this part here I can reduce the global balance let me see the blur the contrast yeah something like that curvature no let me increase a little bit of the curvature let me press the letter M and I think that we have a better adaptation of this guy here so these little things make the difference so let me press the letter let me see the roughness here yeah but i think that this part here is too dark this mask editor let me check i want a better transition here the blur let me see here position ambient occlusion where are the ambient occlusion position here no i want to remove this dark color a little bit automatically but probably I need paint it, but oh, okay, I think it's, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough. So what I'm gonna do is add uh, more dark, more dark, dark information here, so let me set AU2, uh, let me add a black mask here, and let me add a genera generator, ambient lambilent not ambient ambient occlusion let me hold out and click on this guy and here i can add the levels just let me check this ambient occlusion here it's not the levels it's not necessary let me just control it on this part let me invert let me see here yeah more or less on this way i think it's it's good but let me mark a little more strong yeah and increase the contrast that's okay i think it's okay let me add a, a filter here a blub blur blub let me reduce it to zero point Zero one can be. Mm, it's okay. And let me add a paint because I don't want all this part here into. So basically, what I'm gonna do is select this guy here, press X and paint all this part here. Let me check here. Press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. Let me add uh, paint again. Let me see. Let me click on this way. No. Let's hear. Let me check here. This guy. This other part here. And here, this region, yeah, and where this other part here too, because the inner part I don't want, but only the out part. So let me press M, and basically, what I gonna do it keep it only the color and can be a um, more green yeah can be something like that and let me switch it to multiply i think it's enough and i can reduce a little bit the intensity mm, and i think it can be more dark a little more dark yeah press f2 
and that's cool that's awesome i think we could this color variation let me duplicate that i think we can have more this more dark dark part here we could paint this 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 ambient occlusion to get to to have this this part explored but let me see here let me check this ambient occlusion contrast and reduce it a little bit because you can play with that Otherwise on this way, yeah, this global balance, so how you can see we have this this effect. It's awesome. I'm gonna create a little bit more dark. Yeah. This part here maybe it's too to mark it. We could paint it and remove. Let me see where are it. Let me check. Probably it's the color variation. Let me see here. Press the letter M. Yeah, or not. Let me see here. It's because the 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 clothes here. So what we can do? The roughness. It's play a little bit with the clothes. Random option. Yes, it's better. How you can see, we don't have a lot of dark part here. And this other option, clouds. We can also work with random or the tiling variation. Let me check this color here too. Mask editor. Let me check here, yeah. This edge high line we could increase a little bit too. Try to remove a little bit. It's not remove, but it's changing intensity. I can go to roughness. And we have this one. And here it's same thing with this landmark if I wanna. I could add a paint here, let me set to material, add a paint and try to remove a little bit this this part. So let me go, let me hold out and click to the mask and I can remove this part if I want here. But that, that's okay for me, I think that's okay. Let me add this guy here. This other maybe here it's to intensity. Let me check the mask editor. Let me see here. I don't know, seems that it's too intense. Let me check this mask editor and let me try to change a little bit this intensity. Yeah reduce a little bit maybe will be better i think it's better yeah mm, i can reduce a little bit more eight maybe just a little little tweak yeah it's down here can remove it's not necessary to duplicate that and so now we have this better effect. Let me see, yeah. So how you can see, make this uh, solid gold, it's very difficult because you need to get this, this, different, this variation. So it's a little hard to bring this variation, but if you, if you put energy and try to test a, a different layers, different options, you can get the, a good result. And to finish to play a little bit more of that, I can add uh, an isotropic. Iso. I can add a, let's see here. I think we can add a white mask here. No, it's not necessary, just 
add on let me see here let me use the color roughness i don't know yet yeah let me add here a few layer black mask let me check a few layer uh, let me select here oops anisotropic gonna erase everything and this this one here anisotropic that's cool let me rotate that so basically what I can see what I can do here it's go to triple on our project yeah that's okay and here what I can do it add a let me see here the balance can change more or less something like that it's just to, to get a, a little details and i can add a um, filter blur slope too i reduce it 0 0.001 can be mm. and the color here i can set to red something like that yeah it can be to combine with this gold you can use multiply maybe maybe yes maybe not we can test of course and let me reduce here to 50 maybe yeah so here we have this little little effect it's very good because we can get this these different shapes here so let me check the reference i think is it yeah we can play a little bit with uh, activate post effect we have the color correction let me play a little bit with that we can increase the saturation a little bit contrast no contrast is not necessary brightness let me set contrast one brightness a little bit this bs mm, no think that can keep oops we can keep it with zero sepia yeah a little bit um lens distortion exposure no let me give the line distortion here and we also have this where are you magnet it's good too this line distortion i think it's not necessary yeah and we have this effect maybe this anisotropic here it's too strong let me reduce it a little bit to seven yeah just a little tweak yeah guys and is it uh seems simple but when you look to the variation it's a lot of things so for example let me turn off the things and you're gonna see the difference so for example if i just work with a basic color or try to add color variation it's not enough this thing so we have all these challenges and try to make a balance with that these effects here of the lights give a a big big difference so how you can see it's awesome this AO here too and this anisotropic here too so it's extremely awesome we can active the the shadows here too but it's more to to play a little bit i can active the shadows and switch to a range and reduce the intensity here more or less on this way yeah so is it i hope you have enjoyed it of course we have the lens flare here we call that into the unreal and get to the, the other aspect 
and we could improve a lot this part but the cool part is that we can create an automatically shader gold stylized shader and <clears throat> pass this effect uh, on other into the other objects it's very procedural workflow it's very easy to make changes here so because that i like that so let me add all it to a folder let me select all this part and set it into a folder yeah and here look the difference between gold normal gold of course we can make some change but to get the stylized result it's not too easy and we have this armor this other here so let me add here it's very very different look that it's not the same effect it's not wrong but to get this shade the stylized effect we need make different so i hope you have enjoyed it here this is the version that i have created with you so let me select here my other file one minute and here this other version with the same layers I have played a little bit so I recommend you make a lot of different versions here so you can play a lot with that let me just active the um, shadows here to arrange can be more or less this one post effect color correction saturate it a little bit brightness and white balance here you can play a little bit with that too light distortion is not necessary this guy here i can add but the light activity the lens distortion here and reduce a little bit and here it seems that the saturation is too strong brain is too let me restore here the settings and be as story and increase a little bit the saturation the contrast it's not necessary so basically is it was a, a cool test here let me activate the, the shadows of course we need a lot of uh, other things but it's awesome to get this 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 effect here this one and this one so how you can see it's the same thing with a little different tweaks so it's awesome i like too much to make these studies so well guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial uh was a little more more slowly because i wanted to make it very calmly step by step and is it see you in the next tutorial